the next session still about statistics and mathematics so i would understand that for first timers here who are not measuring math statistics or research you'll have a difficulty in analyzing your data madam cultures can you type in the chat box if you could hear me madam okay thank you so much for your response so i will give you the link for the activity sheets in analyzing your data so please download it pwede ra laptop bahala gula mo internet so you could catch up on how to analyze your data because the problem is most of the data analysts sa ato ang research core group kay nanay lain la in nga roles and responsibilities so after this webinar, dili na kayo ka attain sa inyong needs and how to analyze your data. Therefore, you um, follow sa discussion karon para ma analyze in your inyong data independently. So, na download na, please type sa chat box if you have already downloaded the file that is Data Analysis Tool Pack in Excel form. So, if you don't have yet your um, file, pag andam lang o, excuse me, Microsoft Excel, bisag unsa nga version, version tawag na sir, no? Uh, could be 2007, 2013, pero better if you have Microsoft Office 365. 365. Okay, sending you the file, data analysis tool pack in the um, chat box. So please download the file and prepare your laptop because this session allows you to explore the beauty of Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft Excel. Depending on your laptop. So if you have not yet downloaded the Microsoft or have not installed yet the Microsoft Office 365, which is given to us by DepEd Region 7. So, email, please email Sir Michael Padin. And be sure to remember your DepEd email and DepEd password. No? Kay delete mo ka download. Yeah, you coordinate with your ICP coordinators para ma download na ang Microsoft Office 365. But for now, whatever version of Microsoft Excel is still okay for our session and data analysis tool pack so i guess we're very ready to learn about data analysis tool pack so please chat the chat box if nana mo microsoft excel again for nagamit lang og cell phone mag ta og laptop sa to ang kilid for our session today so hold on Magpa stress, di ko maingon nga dili magpa stress. <laughs> All right, so again, this session is uh, for free. No. Last seminars we had SPSS, it's costly, but for our division, we have a copy nga ato ang nakuha from the region office. But for now, since Nag, because of the pandemic, wala ta nagkita, wala mi kahatag inyo sa copy for the SPSS, we are going to utilize Data Analysis Tool Pack in Microsoft Excel. So, okay, let's have our first game. So, it's called State That Stat. So, mechanics of the game, makadaog na siyong load ani. Data will be shown and its corresponding question. From the discussion of Ms. Satira, then you are going to state what statistical data treatment is most appropriate. Then you type your answer in the chat box. So, andam andam na. The participant who will get the highest score will receive 100 pesos worth of load. Agad agad. No? So, are you ready? Sure. Participants, na pamudiha or nagatog no more, nang labba. Minaura, ma'am. 
All right. So, please chat sa chat box your answer and the participant who gets the highest score shall receive 100 pesos worth of load. So, let's start the ball rolling. Number one. Okay, round one. What is the average age of the research webinar participants? So, given this data, what statistical technique or treatment are we going to use? Okay, type in your answer now. All right, the first participant who get who got the correct answer is the valedictorian, Miss Amegang Jessica Pungas. <laughs> okay, dai na mugas juga dai ga pun pakaha. <laughs> All right, so Miss Jessica got one point. Okay, sakto po doon ang uban. Okay, next question. Okay. What is the level of instructional leadership among school heads of Gorkar City Division? Given the indicators and the level, uh, the descriptors, what statistical treatment are we going to apply for this type of data? All right, so type in your answer now. Wala pa. Okay, what data are we going to use? Kay ngano? Kasagaran na bagit sa mga researchers, there is a Carcar City Division, magamit og survey. And how are Sir Archie, pwede mo appeal? <laughs> Ikaw mo nang mo sponsors a load. <laughs> All right, so Miss Florabel Alcuja got the correct answer. It's weighted mean. All right. Thank you for your answers. Let's have round three. So, Miss Alcuja got one point. Miss Jessica Pongase got one point. All right. Round three. I know you still remember this from Miss Satera's discussion. Is there a significant difference between the pre-test and post-test scores of the teachers before and after the webin the RPMS webinar? Na bay kalahian ilahang pre-test and post-test nga ng labaman. <laughs> okay, this okay, wala pa. Wala pa t-test na ay kulang, na no? so wala pa na ako sa answer. I got both there, Amega and Jessica. <laughs> okay. Wala pa, wala pa nakakuha. Yeah, T test, but what type of T test? Ah, uh, naiway labot. <laughs> okay, Miss Ingano got the correct answer. It's T test of paired samples. All right, so Miss Reglin Ingano from my cluster got the correct answer. T-test of paired samples. All right. So, wala pa'y nakalabaw sa one point. Round four. Para sa libre nga load. <laughs> Is there a significant difference between the scores of the students in the modular approach group and online learning group? So, there are two groups. And you are going to determine the significant difference between their scores. So we have the scores from the modular group and online group. What type of statistical treatment, this is inferential, are we going to use for this given data? Oh, wala pa, wala pa ni, ni answer. Okay, we have. Miss Luzel Alcordo, T test for independent samples. Correct. So, ang um, umaabot asawa po ni Sir Nilo. T <laughs> got the correct answer. So, kay ko si Nilo. <laughs> T test or independent sample. Yes, that's correct because there are two groups and you are going to determine the significant difference of their scores. So, wala pa, no, puro sa one point. Pag bainti bainti na lang mo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have round five. Round five. Is there a significant relationship between the number of absences and grade point average of students? Again, Miss Luzel got the correct answer. It's 
person R, no? Or because the the data, the data given are in scale, so interval. So the correct answer is person R. R that R in, in person R is for relationship. Uh, so let's have round six. So I think ang um, naglead karon sa scores kay si Lizelle, si Miss Alcordo. That's a round six. Is there a significant difference between the three groups who underwent different reading techniques? So we have Marunko, CVC pattern, and Fuller approach. I don't know the correct spellings for this. No, so. Okay, wala pa. So what type of statistical treatment are we going to use if there are more than two groups miss okay na na si michelle's iphone oh ang yang iphone may answer <laughs> it's anova or analysis of variance now why you can die amigang jessica pungasi so winner we have our winner okay kids at the old set na kakuhag two points Oh, yeah, one point. But so we have our winner, Miss Lozelle Alcordo. So please type in Muhang number, Miss. Kay ato da yung send dine via GCash. All right. So later, na po tayo pag game. Na po kay special prize ni Nilo. So later, na po tayo pag game para dili kayo ta magduka tari, no? So kay madugo ni siya. I would understand na. Nang dili kay taka catch up kay for first timers really dapat mangon na kaagi na kasi imuhang masteral ani sa imuhang parametric o nan parametric na course and usan na siya katuig takdere usar gud ka oras thank you ha 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 ka abtik okay let's now let's analyze every um data given in our previous game so Please, pag tingog mo, chers, if naka-download na mo or na namo dahay Microsoft Excel, dili pwede ha ang WPS for laptop nga bago lang napalit tungod aning webinar sa DepEd. Wala na siya yung libre nga Microsoft. Karun is paliton gina siya. Around 3,000 to 4,000. So, ang Microsoft Office 365 maoy libre para sa DepEd teachers and employees. So, nana, nana, ready na ang yung laptop? Kay kung cellphone na tani, magigigi to tani. What tayo mabuhat? Okay, let's start. Now, how are you going to install data analysis tool pack? Pwede, sir, nana, ako yung mamanipulate na koan. Ah, okay. Kung kay... Okay na? For example, Okay, kadiat lang sa Chorsang kay para duha ang atong screen nga ipakita ang katong sa Microsoft Officer and kini siya nga kuan. Pwede rin yung wala na, kato na lang worksheet. Okay, so kadiat lang, basta ang dama ang inyong Microsoft Excel. I-open na lang daan and make sure that you already have downloaded the file. The data analysis tool pack na file. So, pwede rin sa kato lang inyong i-open, no? Sa Microsoft Excel. Yes, sir. Kato nga file, sir. Kato nga data analysis tool pack. Okay, kadiat lang. So, I'll give you three minutes to download the file. At the same time, kana, sir. Kana lang i-open, sir. And then, ah, Yeah, open your data analysis tool pack. Nanadari ang mga activities. So, ang ato na lang. Okay na, sir. Oh, akong i-manipulate. Manipulate. So, if ganahan mo mag-webinar sa inyong school head teachers, pwede mo mo palit ani nga Zoom. Ang kining Zoom, kung free ra man good siya, 40 minutes ra. But if you want it unlimited, mabayad ka 600 so I'm sharing my screen. This is now the the open file of data analysis tool pack. 
Okay. Cheers. Okay na? Naka-open na mo? Open your mic, please. Naka-open na mo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, naka-open na. Okay. Abi na ko na natug na mo diha, no? So, unya ra mo panglaba, ini kahuman ani, ay kahuman ni Ma'am No? So, half day ra ta ron and then tomorrow will be um doing your paper na. So, I know nga no managin mo tanan kay mga fast learners kini ang among mga participants karon. So, let's start with one. So, na dire sa left side yud na one. Kita chairs, one. Let's have the mean and standard deviation. So, open that sheet. We have one mean and standard deviation. Naka-open ra? The what on the Sir Jason? Yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> all right. Welcome, Sir Jason. It's already 9 o'clock. <laughs> okay. So, open, please, mean and standard deviation. So, for Excel files, the formula always starts with an equal sign. So, click. A, the tawag ano, sir? Cell. So, click cell. Then, you type equal sign for mean. Dili pa siya data analysis to pack, no? Pwede ra tag mo gamit. O kato lang, Excel lang. Wala yung data analysis. So, pwede ra po din siya WPS kung mean and standard deviation. So, for mean, type equal sign. And, type, mean is um, average. So, A, Ave. Okay, kita kag Ave. For WPS, or og ubang version sa Microsoft, Ave ra na siya. But for Microsoft Office 365, the spell out gini ang average. So, double click average. Alright. So, makakita ka og um, open parenthesis. So, highlight the data. Highlight 24 hundred sa 29. Okay. Then, click enter. So, kita na. Akong i-enlarge ang akong screen. So, what's the mean? It's... 32. 32. Yeah, 32. And for standard deviation, from the discussion of Ms. Charlene, standard deviation is how far is your data deviates from the mean? Unsa siya ka spread out? Example, kung grado ang atong hisgutan, Anay, usa ka bata dari sa usa ka section, 75 ang yung average. Pero yung mga classmate, tag 92, tag 95. So, as a teacher, how are you going to give interventions to the child na layo mang kayo yung iyang data, disperse kayo yung iyang average from the majority? So, that's the purpose of standard deviation. So, how are we going to compute standard deviation in Excel? Still, write equal sign. For all formulas, it starts with an equal sign. And then, you type stdev. Yeah, for standard deviation, stdev. P here is for population. S here for sample. So, this is only a sample. Gamay ra kaya tong data. So, click, double click, stdevs. That S. Okay, double click. Okay, dancers. Again, highlight the data from 24 to 29. For CNU and CTU graduate students, ang ilang thesis mag require ginag standard deviation. But for some schools, pwede ra wala standard deviation. At UB also mo require standard deviation. So after highlighting, click enter. Ba. So there you go. Standard deviation is 8.89. Are we on the same page? Saktot inyo nakuha po? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Alright, so... Thank you kay nakasunod ra. So, mean standard deviation ang oh, gorara. So, if na po kay daghan nga data here, pwede ra na nimo i-drag imuhang answer mo type example. Akong typean og data para dili na ka magbalik-balik sa formula. So, um, if this is um, age gihapon sa lain nga group, 12, 13, 15, example lang niha, 19. Okay. Para dili na ka mag-write balik sa formula, imura ni i-drag ang iyang answer. Okay, so na nakaya ka kuha o 15.4. So no need na mag-retype pa ka sa formula. Alright, so now it's your turn and the first who will get the correct answer, mao, sa tanan na itong mga activities, makadaog o 200 pesos nga load. Alright, so ganina 100 ra. 
karon 200 na gyud ang ipanghatag ni Sir Archie. So let's have activity 1. Open activity 1. Good morning, Ma Marianne. So, okay, click activity 1. Paunha na yung answer. Give me the mean and standard deviation and if you already got the the, the answer, please type sa chat box. Okay, what's the mean? Kinsa or pwede na po diri sa mic. Nawa mani ang akong assistant. <laughs> okay, pwede na isulti diri sa sa mic ang inihang answer. Sir, asa makita sir ang answer sa chat box? Mugawas sa chat box. Babaw. Are sir? Ah, okay. Okay, let's have Pag pas pas ni <laughs> Amegang Jessica. <laughs> okay, so si Amegang Jessica. Answer is so. Let's type. Now the mean is equal sign. And then average. Highlight the data. And enter. So, yes, mean is 6,300. So this means that this is the income of um, the parents, baro, no, if your study is about um, what is the combined monthly income of parents sa inyong mga bata para ma-determine mo unsa di ay lang hang uh, status sa pang, uh, kinabuhi. No? So, standard deviation is, again, equal sign, STDEV, so it is only a sample, so S, highlight the data, then click enter. So, the standard deviation is Nakaunag answer kay si Ma'am Jessica. So, Miss Jessica Pungase got one point. So, namugas ni siya sa 200 pesos nga loan. Okay, let's have weighted mean. So, ari na ang magamit ang inyohang survey. Thank you for the responses. Kay nagsunod gid mo no. Sir John Ray, hello. <laughs> so, Buyag. let's have the weighted mean. So, Hala, kagamit ani for most trabang study git sa car car puro nag survey no so kini ang gamito ninyo is weighted mean so example klaro ra sa slides no if dili akong padakan okay kani so weighted mean we have indicators here and then the responses of your respondents so, example, one indicator, the school had designed the school improvement plan. Yeah, nakita man yung mga sadyo ng himos SIP, ang answer niya kay three. Number two, the school head communicates well with the teachers and other stakeholders. Mutingo git si school head. Wala, ang iyang answer kay disagree. You know, Nagilom-hilom na din si school head. Number three, the school head establishes good relationship with stakeholders. Hala, ni disagree na ni kaaway sa mga ginikanan. <laughs> the four, the school head exhibits exemplary performance. <laughs> Murag kontra ganis sa school head. Yung answer kay one. <laughs> so, ma'am, unsa ang ni ma'am nga? Ang answer niya na ang may lanlain. Three, two, two, one. So, how to get the weighted mean? Ari lang taha kay Usa na magud ka share uh, screen ang atong ma-share. Nindot na itong naay PowerPoint. Pero maglisod man ta. So, ari lang ta. So, ang saon, dahil siya, ma'am. Weighted mean is... Hindi man yung maklaro yung mong keyboard, sir. <laughs> Weighted mean kay... You get the sum of the... The... The responses. So, get the sum. So, ang saan ito pagkuha sa sum. The formula always starts with an equal sign. Then, type sum. Okay. Um, atong ikoan lang. I-open parenthesis. Okay. Unya lang sa ta. Para maging maglibog. The formula is sum divided by number of indicators. Mauna niya hang formula. Okay. So sum, again, weighted mean is the sum of the responses divided by number of indicators. Okay. Now let's compute. The formula starts with an equal sign and then open parenthesis para dili magsagol atong formula. No? So, uh, pwede i-type lang na to. Pwede na sa datong i-click. So, 
Saya luap, saya luap. Sam, dah dah. Sam. And then, um, click the responses. Three. Ya, control. Para imuhagya pun siyang maklik tanan. Two, control, control. The hold ko sa control, aniha. And then, control. And then, click, enter. So, the sum, pwede ragun niya siya o ka ng manu-manuho, no? Maglibog-libog pa kita. Pero, magamit ni siya ni mo kung daghan na kagag data. So, three, kani, upat naman ni. Pero, sa tinuod yun nga survey, maabot ni o tag 40 or 20 indicators. So, again, get the sum divided by, okay, sum naman ni. So, sum is 8 divided by Equal sign, 8 divided by number of indicators. Pila ka indicators? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay, so this is weighted mean. Again, I would emphasize, dili ang number because this is gamay raman kayo nga number, no? But for the real scenario in doing research, dagan kay kag indicators. And na yung bang answers, depende sa university, nga inyong hang... Um, at ang inyong skwelahan, ang uban ani na ay neutral. So, naa kay 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, daghan naman kaayo. Again, weighted mean, what's the formula? Sum, sum of the responses divided by number of indicators here. So, get the sum divided by 4 indicators. The answer is 2. So, it's your turn. So, go to activity 2. So this is the question is how ready is Karkar City Division in the implementation of learning a uh, distance learning so how ready is Karkar City Division in the implementation of distance learning so sa ato ang division di ay we choose or we chose Modular distance learning. Mo na nagamat tag modules. Okay, compute the weighted mean. Ang first nga participant makakompute sa weighted mean mo add up sa iya hang score. So compute the weighted mean. So there are four indicators here, and also there are four. Okay, let's have the answer. Nine, nine. So two point five. So to compute. We have four, so get the sum. So yeah, hang sum. Now yang sum. So four plus three seven plus two nine plus one is ten. And how many indicators divided by? There are four indicators. So the answer is equal sign ten divided by four. It's two point five. So the first to answer. 2.5 is Ma'am Rodisa Dikdikan. So, Miss Jessica Pungase got one point and Ma'am Rodisa Dikdikan. So, thank you for your responses. Sir John Gray, na wahirag yung kag one second, sir. No? Mamugat sa salon. Makitunga ang school head. So, we're done with mean and standard deviation and weighted mean. So, let's now go to t-test of paired samples. Ari na magamit na to ang data analysis tool pa. Okay, click data. Okay, click ang data niya. Tanawa doon yung side, ang akong gipoint ka mouse, if na ay data analysis. Na ay data analysis, sure, wala. Sure, na ay data analysis. Click data. Okay, open Excel. Nya, click data. Na ay data analysis di rin nga side? Wala. Ako ah, wala. Inyo ha? Wala sad ma'am. Wala sad. Wala ka naman. Wala kayo tati gamit o data analysis. So, unsa on siya. So, please bear with me kay mauna ni ang sinugdanan on how are we going to install data analysis tool pack. Go to file. Alright. Go to first step. Hindi lang po ka-share na ni sa akong PowerPoint presentation. Go to file. And then click options. Sa ubos, kinaubsan yun. Na, na? So yes, click file options. So double click options. And add in. So click add ins. Double click add ins. 
Alright, so makakita ka na rin. Analysis tool pack. Do not be mistaken uh -oh. with analysis tool pack VBA. Ayaw ni, because in VBA, you are going to use codes. No, mas um, taas na siya niya. Macro po na itong gamit. So, kanilang, the standard is analysis tool pack na na. Okay, click analysis tool pack. Ayaw sa click okay. Kaya dili na ma-install. You click go. Okay, dara na. I go dari sa ubos. Go. And then, click the box, Analysis Tool Pack, Usara, and OK. Yan, here we go. Kakita na kag data analysis sa imong data sa toolbar. Okay, kinsay na kakuha na. Please type sa chat box if OK. Katong naka-install na yun o data analysis tool pack. Me, OK. Duha pa kung nakitaan sa chat box. Ma'am Irish, Ma'am Lozelle. Okay, again, sa mga bago pa nakasood, Arlene Cavan raised her hand. Alright, so again, akong balikon, file, options, add-ins, click, analysis tool pack, click go, check the box here, and okay. So, wala ko kaapas, ma'am. Okay, so mawag siya, ma'am. Go to file. Again, file. File, data, file, options. Add in. Then, click analysis tool pack. And then, go. Go sa ubos, ma'am. Yeah, check the the katong box. And click OK. Alright, so daghan na ang nakaapas. Okay na ma'am, okay na ma'am. Alright, thank you for your active participation. Now, we are going to interpret now data. So, ako sa nang i-delete, ang ako ang nakuha. So, dara. So, what's the title of our, what if your question would be, what is the effect of an intervention? Or, is there a significant difference between the scores of the Students before and after the modular approach and learning. I know, no, nakakita ako sa mga topic nga. Naghan kaayog modular approach ang ilahang study. Ang uban nagamit og technology like GeoGebra. Ang uban nagamit og videos. Pero part gihapon siya sa imuhang modular, imuhang gi-attach. So this could be the most appropriate statistical treatment that you are going to use. So, is there an effect of an intervention? Then you are going to use the t-test of paired samples. So, click, go to data analysis. Data analysis, double click. Okay, double click, cheers. So, nana. So, makakita ka dari og analysis tools for Microsoft Office 365 na ay 19 kabuok. Pero, we are going to explore the six basic lang uh, ginagamit good siya sa DepEd. So, naadari, ano ba? Daghan ka na siya. Are we on the same page? <laughs> Kurt, yes. are we on the same page? Alright, para maganahan sa DepEd. Yes. Muna tayo yung tag-amo. <laughs> so, click T-test. Dara, T-test of paired to sample for means. Maunin siya, Cheris. T-test, paired to sample for means. Click, kanang blue na siya, then click OK. Okay. Alright, so murag na natin itingog, no? So, click OK. Now, your variable one range is your pre-test. So, ma'am, unsaon ako, ma'am, ayaw apilag highlight ang iyang label. Nga yung mong gibutang diha. Only the numbers para dili na mo error. Kaya di mo na mubasa, no? Dili na siya number. So, variable 1, variable 1 range is you highlight the pretest. So, highlight na ko, ha? So, drag 7 to 5. Okay. So, makakita din mo dari ang iyahang cell location. For variable 2, you use your mouse. Highlight post-test results. So, drag from 25 to 22. Ang na. Nana? Okay, so you can check label para maka-determine ka nga on sa ina siya. Ma'am, pwede balikon. Wala ko kaapas. Ma'am, loading. Hala na. <laughs> so, Alpha, mo yun yung discuss ni Miss Charlene nga. 
level of significance or the maximum error nga imong mahatag sa imuhang study or the level nga ma-reject imuhang null hypothesis. So, let's have na na, variable 1, ma'am, no? Hindi na ko ka, later na lang, ma'am, ha, akong balikon, ma'am. Um, wait sa, muragdaghan ni request. Sige, go. So, akong balikon, balikon, balikon. This is effect of an intervention nga isa ka grupo lang example imuhang advisory class. Pre-test nga nag-post-test kanila. This is a one group ha. So you are going to use t-test of paired sample ma'am. So go to data analysis, double click, t choose t-test of paired two sample ni blue na siya. Then you click okay. Now mo gawas diri ang yahang um Box. So, variable one range, so click, highlight pretest. So, seven to five. For variable two is your post test. So, a butang imong cursor, highlight 25 to 22. Check label para iyang libelan on sana siya, variable one ba na or two. For the output range, output now is nai options dari. New worksheet, mulahi siya og file. Pero dili ko mo advice, ani nga naman, mo out man nga screen. So the output range is mamili rakag blank spaces diha sa imuhang worksheet. So akong pili on is kining blank diri. Okay, sa output click, imo sa itonong imong cursor diri sa output. Nya mamili kag blank spaces, meaning is asa ni mo gusto makita ang answers. Then click Okay. Wow. Alright. So, mura siya SPSS yun, no? Dili lang tanan nga statistical treatments like chi-square, wala man ni sa ato ang data analysis tool pa. So, dara. And Mom Charlene, akong padaka na akong screen. Uh, 200. Okay. Yeah, everything is recorded. Pwede i-upload ni sa YouTube ni Sir Archie or Sende. So, pwede ninyo ma-review. And you also have the, this file. So, pwede ninyo ma-review yun. So, now, dara, we have p-value. Ni answer ganina si Ma'am Jessica p-value. Now, for statistics major or nagtudlo ka research, wow. one tale is you know the direction of your study nga pa-increase ba siya or pa-decrease. But at this time, what kay baw o ang score sa bata expected ba nga mo increase or decrease? Di mong ka mag-assume, ana. So that is p-value two-tailed. You mean, meaning of two-tailed is wala ka kahibaw, no nga, pa-increase ba ang score sa bata or pa-decrease? Di mong ka mag-assume, kay that's already bias. Example, nagamit kag modular approach niya, nag-assume ka nga, mo increase yun ang score sa bata para effective akong approach, no. Because in research, di li kinahanglan ang imuhang Imong strategy is effective. Di tanan effective. So therefore, we are going to use the two-tailed. All right. So two-tailed p-value. What's the p-value? Point zero zero one. Now our alpha nga gitype ganina is point zero five. Therefore, dapat p-value is lesser than alpha. Naani sa slide? Di ko ka-share, Sir Curbs, no? Katong magpuli-puli. Ah, okay. Ayan lang, Sir. So, take note that to reject the null hypothesis, p-value should be lesser than alpha. So, pila nga tong alpha? 0.05. The question is, is 0.001 lesser than alpha? What's the answer, Chers? Is 0 0.001 lesser than alpha? Natog, <laughs> Chers. Okay, again, our p-value here is the ra. Question is, is it lesser than alpha of 0 0.05? Yes. Therefore, if yes in yung answer, we reject we reject the null hypothesis. Di lang taka, duha ka share lang yun. So, we reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, your, your strategy 
is effective and the difference is significant. All right, San Santo. P value of 0 0.001 lesser than alpha of 0 0.05. Therefore, the decision is we reject the null hypothesis. And when you say null hypothesis, is now going to no. There is no significant difference. Therefore, na ay significant difference ni taas ug maayo ang score. Atong baliko ng atong data. Look at the data. Tara yung score. From 7, nahimong 25. From 8, nahimong 20. From 12, 29. You see the difference? Daggo ka siya difference. Pero sa statistics mang good or sa research, dili tanang diferensya significant. Could be, si 7, maumaura -ma ni 8. Si 8, maumaura -ma -ma ni 10. Maunang nagamit ta og inferential statistics. So, again, atong baliko ng interpretation. Kay kasagaran mang good nga data analyst sa group is na school head na. So, di na kay ka-attain sa inyong needs after this webinar. So, might as well save this copy, then review the examples and hands-on with the activities. So, p-value of 0 0.001. Lesser than alpha of 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and significant. Therefore, the intervention is effective. All right. Nindot kay mong module nga pagkahimo. Kay nakatun mo ang mga bata. No, paguna ni mong ato sa purok. Hantod pag review. Pagkuha ni mo sa module. So, your intervention is effective. Yay! Now, Ganina ang nakakuha one point kay si Ma'am Jessica o si Ma'am Dikdikan. You go to activity 3, kamo yung analyze. Hey, hey. So, the effect of modular approach, yeah, given these scores in their pre-test and post-test. Now, I want you to determine if there is a significant difference between the scores of the students before and after the intervention, which is the modular approach. Okay, laban. Magatang ko sa chat box. Nanay, nakakuha. Wala na ko ka. <laughs> Lagi. This is the new normal. Nga. New normal, ginagini na to ang webinar. One of my teachers, ni palit ginag cellphone. Oh, pretty kay ka, ma'am Dan. Nasa ganahan ni mo, sir? Jayco or Krispy Kreme? <laughs> Deliver da <yun. laughs> Bago uning loan. Alright. So, ay, duka-duka ni ha. Pag anda mong snacks. So, give me the p-value. Give me the p-value. And the decision. So, ha, pas pas kayo. Wala na ko kakuha sa tites. Okay, Miss Jessica Pungase got the p-value of 0 0.025274. Siya ang unang ihatag og p-value. At recheck kung sakto ba. So, go to data. There is a toolbar, um, toolbar. Data analysis. Double click. T-test. Paired sample. Do click, ma'am. And then, okay. Mugawas ng ingani. So, atong sa ningkwaon. So, variable 1 is your pre-test. Ayaw apila ang label. Only the numbers. 10 to 15. All right. Sa so variable 2 is your post-test. Ako lang balikon. Ayaw apilang label, numbers lang, drag. Alpha is 0 0.05. For education, maumani ang level of significance nga atong giset. Output range is, asa ni mo ganahan makita na imuhang answer. So, mamili na kadarig bakanti nga cells. Click, OK. So, dara. Dara nga itong answers, atong padakan. P-value is... Okay, ito pakitan ta mo sa numbers. P-value of 2 tail. Dili lagi 0 0.02. Point, 2 tail is 0... Ah, no, sa'yo pa kong data. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, nalibat ko, nalibat, nalibat. Two point. Ano to? Alright. Okay, balik ta data analysis. So, wala ka apa, so pwede ragid mo. Ang uban nagsigi o pa-admit. Nga naman, nawawa na ilang data. So, t-test of 
prepared. Saan niya siya? Oh, sa- nalib- okay, sakto man. Sakto to. Sakto ni. To some pair to sample. No? So, the answer is... Dara. Ah, dara. The answer is 0. 0.07. So, kasi una na ako answer Wala it please chat sa chat box. Wala. Okay na. Ah, si ma'am. Shella Fantonial. Okay, Ma'am Shella Fantonial, you got one one point. So, para sa 200 pesos nga loan. Ma'am Jessica, murag lahi na imo <laughs> ha. wrong data. <laughs> Kasayang dai, no? So, laban lang na patay daghang rounds. Okay, so I hope you learned something from mean, weighted mean and antithesis of paired sample. Happy ta mo man. Now, let's go to four. Okay, click choose kanang sa ubos. Ika upat nga sheet. Ano? Ika pila na ni? Seven. T-test of two sample. Two samples. Akong iba tanda da da. T-test of two samples. Na na? T-test of two samples. Ang question ni mo anichers is imong gikumpara ang duha ka grupo. Examples. Carcar Central National High School. I guess nga. Nasa lang mga students nga ni prefer og modular and then online so dili ka magamit og paired kay kung paired lang katura magudong same group but at this time duha ka grupo imong gikumpara ang ilahang post test or pre test to determine the significant difference of the group so therefore you are going to use t test of two sample means so Modular, no, kanina, ano yung nagamit ani raba niya? Uh, online group. Pwede po din siya, example, storytelling ka diri, diri is the traditional classroom teaching or the face-to-face. So, in depth ed, we mean sa face-to-face, doha ka buo. Off-site, katong adto ka sa gawa sa eskwilahan or on-site, so sa eskwilahan. So, pili ka na kung unsay maagrihan ninyo sa inyong school head. So, in this case, duha ka grupo. So, click data, the re data here, and then data analysis. Double click. Then, mamili ka o t-test to sample assuming unequal variances. Ma'am, unsa man yung unequal variances? What, nag-assume ka, your assumption is dili sila pariha o variance ang ilahang gilagi on sa score no lain-lain so ini lang t test to sample assuming an equal variances ma'am kung mag equal variances ta ko na ara na nimo kung ni assume ka nga mamaura na silang grupoha og level that's equal variances now ako my assumption is an equal variances wa ko kay baw unsay level nila samot karon nga ang mga bata wa ta kamit pa nila for grade 7 wa ta kamit ana nila Nag-assume ta nga, ato na ng sudyante. So, uh, my assumption is, their variance or lang variances are unequal. So, click t-test to sample, assuming unequal variances, para magpariha lang tag-page. Click, okay. Okay. Alright, so okay. Na na? Okay. Alright, so nigawas na. T-test to sample, assuming unequal variances. Now, for variable 1 is your group 1. So, highlight group 1, the modular group. Ang number of items ani kay 40, pero no need na may butang, only their scores. So, drag 25 to 34. For variable 2, you have the online group. Kadang nag-online. So, drag 33 to 37. Click label. Then, for output range, again, para delete na mo exit ni nga uh, worksheet ari lang tag blank spaces so i place ang cursor and then highlight katong blank spaces click okay yehe na na ing ani kadali for spss same ra og value mas mahal lang gito siya so akong padakan Again, still two-tailed. Ari ta magtanaw sa two-tailed, no? Kay pwede rasak magamit kag T. For those who are familiar with T, this is the tabulated value na ani siya sa statistical tables. No? Pero para madali ta mausa ta atong interpretation, we focus here karon sa P value. So P value of two-tailed because we do not know the the assumption. Uh -huh. So the answer is point 
Yes, Miss Andrews, akto. Point two three one five eight six zero two three. Yeah, hey. So yes, Mam Dona, nakasod nang sud ka Mam Dona from my cluster. No, nana siya signal. So now we are going to compare this value against alpha. What's our alpha? Our level of significance. Point. Zero five. Okay, point zero five. Point zero five. Question is, is it lesser than? Is it lesser than the alpha? Okay, sure. Is answer. Point twenty three. Is it lesser than alpha? Sure. Huh? Mas gamay ba siya sa alpha? No. The answer is. No, mas dako siya sa imuhang alpha. Therefore, we failed to reject HO. Na wrong spelling, no? Pasay lo a nagmultitask na dere. We failed to reject HO. Therefore, significant dili. Not significant. That means walay kalahian sa ilahang Scores. Mauma ora, ma'am. Yun sa mga pag naklaro anang lahi, ma'am, o pariha rin as 27 o 29. Again, in research, not all differences are different. No? So, mo nang mugamit ang inferential statistics. So, if p-value, akong isuwat na rin, kaya mauma niya sa muang workshop sa region, isuwat, nga naman, after one week, di ba, malimot ka. No? So, p-value is greater than Alpha. Maonang, the decision is fail to reject HO and not significant. So the interpretation is the two groups are the two the performances of the two groups are comparable. Pari mama ora si lag score. So makaingon ka nga one dili ka makaingon nga mas labaw si modular kaysa ni online kay mama ora man si lag score. So that's the interpretation. So dili na ko modig ana deeper kay na discuss na ni Ma'am Charlene no sa ato ani how to manipulate the data, how to interpret the data using data analysis tool pa. Mao nang nindot sa gaining Microsoft Excel, mao nang pag-download na mo kay libre ra. If mo palit pa mo sa Microsoft Office 365 Mabot biyag tag 6,000. Si Ma'am Honeybee, sir, no? Pila to ka 1,000? O diba? 5,995 kung inyong paliton ang Microsoft Office 365. Yeah, one year pa gina siya. So, pero sa DepEd, is libre na na siya. Tanaw na na niyong sa spam. Ako akay na sa spam sa DepEd email. So, if wala ka kadawat na na sa spam. So, this is now the t-test of two samples. Now, I'll give you the time for... Activity four. Okay, cheers. Ang unang makahatag si answer. Maoy mo add up sa yung score para makadaog mo sa two hundred pesos ng load. Any network? Red? Pwede rin kay Red Mobile. Napanaron? Unsa mo mo siya gapon? An equal gapon? Yes. Nana si Ma Maria Fe ka abtix sa kung mga Omega. No so. Ma Maria Fe point five seven five five eight one seven two. Maguwat ko gaya ng answer. Mam Shalan, alright, na ah, okay, dohana niya atong itry. So first step, you go to data, data analysis. Thank you, Chair Sang. Kani palogin mo data analysis, t test of two sample assuming an equal variances. Yes, niya ako lang ni Shang i Erison mo detect na siya ano kung same formula, kay bantay mo, gikapi ra niya. Yes, pero for the sake of everyone nga, nagsigig ka lag out due to unstable internet connection, akong osbon. So, storytelling, 24 to 38, drag. For variable 2, traditional, the usual type of teaching sa classroom, 33 to 37. Okay. Output range is asa ni mo gusto makitaan ang imuhang data. So, ari ko sa blank spaces. Click OK. So, there you go. Akong padaka na akong screen. You will check the p-value of two-tailed. So, the answer is 0.57558172. Kung imo pa ni i-drag dari ang imuhang 
column mo daghan pa na siyang answer no so dara mo nang inyuhan na abot og tag 12 digits so sir John Ray, yes got you got the correct answer but the first one to type sa chat box si ma maria fe Arinyabo. Right. So, congratulations, Ma'am Maria Fe. Na nakai one point, Ma'am. So, kita kita nak ada org si Ma'am Jessica, si Ma'am Maria Fe, si Ma'am Dik Dikan. Okey, satu musa. Nalimot ko pas ilua. Tengok lang ha, kinsa to? Si Ma'am Michelle, si Ma'am Michelle. Okay, so, wala pa yung nakalabaw sa one point. Now, let's go to person R. Okay, click. Five here. Ready na gina tatanan kung nakadownload lang mo. So, person R is your question is, is there a significant relationship between number of absences and the grade point average of the students? That's person R. No? So, tanaw na to ang iyahang relationship. Now, before this, akong ipakita ang slide, sir, katong pag-una. Kahit ang chair sa... Sir Curbs, saan mo dito pagpakita sa slide? Katong una na ako, previous slide. Okay, kadit lang, Chersa. Kaya pakitong tamo, unsan siya pag-interpret ang correlation value. Ganahan sa ko ipakita akong now. So, <laughs> share screen ni Sir. Okay. Okay, kadit lang ha. Nawa, Sir, asa the pit files? Download for now. Download. Ah, okay. Break sa tap. Break sa tap. Two minutes lang a break. No, so para mo karilax, relax mo diha. Kaya madugong labanan kini. Okay. Okay. So slide show. Nindo taning zoom, oi. Alt tab. Alt alt tab. Mas na tab. Oh. Pagkita ko, ito sa Zoom meeting na i-close ha. Ano sa i-close sir? Kaya i-close sir. Kani? I-close sa lang buwan kaya di pa mo nang malita. Kani? Ay, okay. Tapos share screen ba? Ano? Kani yung new normal? Ah, okay. Okay, tara. So, okay na? Pwede mo inom sa mong tubig niya. Okay, arita sa person R. Okay, thank you, sir. Pero nalimo, trabaho ko, sir. Okay, for person R, the, the, the null hypothesis is it should be in a statement form for DepEd. So, are we in the same page? Na next, sir? Nakapas na? So, there is no significant relationship between the number of absences and grade point average of students. So, you determine the relationship. These are scale values. Katobang interval. So, we have the four data level, uh, data measurement level, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. So, dapat imong data ang assumption is nasa interval o ratio. When you say interval, there is an ab a no absolute zero point. Example, grado. When you say zero nga grado, does it mean nga walay nakatunan ang bata? Basically, no. Naanay nakatunan, pero walang siya ka sag-o siguro sa answer. That's interval. For ratio, is zero is absolute zero point. Kung example, money. That's ratio scale. Kung zero is money, wag yung kikwarta. So, mauna siya, nasa interval or ratio ang imong data. So, this is the null hypothesis. Now, we determine the p-value. Reject the null hypothesis if there is a significant change. So, p-value should be lesser than alpha. Now, I would emphasize here, Dara, please picture it or screenshot kay ato ni gamiton sa activity kay Naa kay value pero di ka kay bow. Unsa 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 pag interpret. So, naka-picture na chairs. Nana, please chat kung naka-picture na. Naka-picture na. Magamit ninyo gyud no ka samo tong ni tan-aw ng relationship don na usa pa. Please chat sa chat box if naka-picture na kay mao ni ato ang determinant kay 
Lisod man ni, na ay positive, na ay negative. Nga di mo ka-relate kung di mo mo ka-hands-on. Alright, so. Mora ni? So, dara. This is the key point. Pwede ni picturean. Positive relationship means you grow together or you fall together. Ay, nagbuwag di ay. No, so. Parihag direction. Okay, so ari lang. Picture lang sa daan para ato i-relate on niya sa activity. Positive relationship, you grow together or fall together. Same direction. If ang usa ni taas, ang usa po ni taas. Or down ang usa, down po ang usa. So, you grow together or nagbuwang mo, or matay mo duha, no? Negative relationship means one grows and the other falls. So, usara ang i-grow, dili give and take, buwag ra mo, other falls. So, you are totally opposite. Mm. Ang usa buutan, ang usa salbahison, that negative relationship. So, I, I know, on saka, what's your relationship status, Cheris? You grow together or you fall together or you are totally opposite. So, I know, nakatanaw na mo, Ani. Sige, title, Ani, Amega and Jessica. It's through night and day, no? So, why forever? <laughs> so, it's through through night and day, no? Nga salida, musa, kamo na tanaw, ana, no? So, unsa inyo hang relationship status? So, balihin ko, ato ta sa activity, balik ta sa, um, activity. So, ari ko sa akong screen, data analysis, Sir Curves, slideshow, no? Sa Ilua? Ah, no, sir. Katong i-share ang screen. Galit, sir. Ah? Sige, balik sa Zoom. Ah, alt, alt tab. Ah, sa Zoom, sir. Oh, nalit. Go share screen. Tapos may taang ito. Ano eh? Share. Alright, so so scanning that any new normal. I can imagine sa mga sa sinta kapin ano. So let's go to five person R. Okay, are we on the same page? Tingo blang yung madrat chairs up. Pwede kaya on yung mic niya makadugo kung ako manok ganar just kaya ko ana. Alright, so number of absences and grade point average. Yan ang kapicture naman mo, so we are very ready. So click data here in the toolbar. Data, then data analysis. Double click, man. Then you search correlation because na determine man ato, deter i determine na tong iyang relationship. So correlation lang chairs. Walay person are the correlation, but in SPSS na agis ay person are na ay kai square. Daghan ka isya, no? So correlation, click okay. Alright, so nanay okay. Glug pa. Oh, asa na? Itong malikon. Data analysis. Ah, dara, 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 dara. Pasay lua. Okay. Now, dilit na siya pariha sa ni Agi. Nga naman, tagduha man to ka column. This case, Usahon na to siya highlight ang tanang numbers. Okay, so atong i-highlight. 587 pa down. Okay, naara? Okay. Okay, nya. Nay nangutan na diri. How are you going to group the data? So, in this case, unsa sige, unsa sya nimo paggroup? It's by column. So, click columns here. So, dapat uh -huh. columns ang naka-click. Label the first row para makakita ka sa iyang label. Output range is the same. Asa ni mo ganahan makitaan ang data. So, highlight the blank pages. Kung asa ka ganahan makakita sa iyong data. Click. Okay. Yehey. So, ako pa dako na akong data. Wala ni, wala ni. Great. So, padako na ko. Okay, what's the value, Chers? It's... Asa ang yung value? Okay. The value is the ra. Asa? What's the value? Negative, negative. 0.79. Unsa kiti meaning sa negative value? 
negative 0.79. Yes. Ang sakit yung meaning, Church. Basta negative ang value. One glows and the other one falls. So, nagbuwag sila. No, nagbuwag. <laughs> so, why forever? So, unsa may meaning, Ani? If mutaas si absences, Church, unsa yung meaning? Kung mutaas si absences, what will happen to the grade point average? Huh? Mo, mo gamay. Again, so, if number of absences increases, then the grade decreases. So, this is now the... Please, usab. Okay. Please. <laughs> if, uh, okay, unsa sa balikon. Okay, wala ka kuha. Sa ito, i-delete. So, data. Data analysis. Correlation. Click. Okay. And then, for the input range, is you highlight all the numbers. So, highlight the numbers by column. And label on the output range is asa ni mo maganahan makita na ang data. Click okay. Dara. So five it is seven. Okay. So this is dara. Kini you focus in the you focus on the negative point seven nine. This is now the correlation. Is it high? High nine answer. High positive. High negative. No. Dapat usar agud positive or negative. So, in this case, what's the sign? It's negative. So, negative. So, neg high. So, this is high from ganiha nga inyong gipikturan. High negative correlation. Therefore, kung negative, nagbuwag, no? Nagbuwag sila. So, one grows and the other one falls. So, therefore, if the number of absences increases, then the grade point average decreases. So, mo ni nahitabu sa DepEd. Nga naman, dili man mahatagan og intervention ang bata. Secondly, tagag intervention, dili mo buhat. Yad to sa balay, wala rin gihapon mo balik. So, papasarun ni ay, no? Oh, kamo ni answer, Ana. So, number of absences increases, then your, the grade point average of the student decreases. So, Yes, ma'am. Naa sa peak, ma'am, kay positive, negative. Guide na to siya, ma'am. Kay nga naman, ang imong tanawon is the true value. So, kwa atong slash niya. Kuha? Magpili lagi ka, positive or negative. Depende man guni sa mugawas ni mo nga value. So, in the interpretation, you only write high negative correlation. Dili siya pwede ni mo um usahon ko ha all right so dili pwede positive or negative dapat usara so in this case we have a negative correlation so i guess it's time to do activity 5 so last uh, second to the last activity na ni siya so laban uh, okay the first one to type in the answer shall get the point so please determine the relationship the is, the question is, is there a significant relationship between the grade point average in English and math? Kaya niingon man sila nga, kung bright kag math, kung no, bugo kag English. Kaya bright sa kag English, bugo sa kag math. Atong tanawang diri sa atong data, tinuod ba ni? Alright, dagan na kayo naka-answer. Ang nakauna. Yeah, yeah. So, data, click data, and data analysis. Muratag na ang ani sa Smile Radio 98.2. So, correlation, click OK. So, for the input range, highlight all the numbers. You separate them by columns. And for the output range, click OK. So, what's the answer? Na may ko ang preload. Point on negative 52766. What's the level of correlation? Na po ang preload. Negative 0.5 chairs. What's the the level of correlation? Is it high? Negative. Oh, I'm running straight. 
Is so, it high? Moderately negative, so, moderately negative so, correlation. Not, yes, this is point five is moderately negative correlation. So the value is the first one to type is Mom Jessica Pungase. Awesome. Mom Jessica got two points. Followed by Mom Shala Fantonial. No more seconds. Lagi pagitan ani nilang doha. So Sir John Ray, good. No nakapas ni Don Grace. Dona, Mom Dona. Nana cikis signal Mom. Ah. All right. Shout out ni. Ano ano lang sa mga blurred. Mama sa lang cikok comment sa kay para makaku answer mo. From Mom Marites, my friend. Laban mo dyan. Nindot kay Kaktingo. Kasi ganyan mo, ma'am. Jayco. Thank you. No, let's go to ANOVA. Okay, click ANOVA, sir. So, last na lang yun eh. So, ANOVA is when you are going to determine na abal kalahian ang tulo ka grupo. So, in this case, arita sa grade 1. Ang grade 1, ang saon ka nila pagbabasa sa mga bata, no? Gamit ang module. Okay. Ang mama, nilisag ka maubaya sa sounds, no? So, mauna siya ang problema gud sa depth ed karun. So, there are two, three groups. Marongko, CVC pattern, and fuller approach. Ang marongko is, uh, maka-explain sila na, no? Nila sila magpakuan ani kay... Listen na. So, there are three groups. Nga mo ilang score. The perfect score is 100. Nga mo ni ang mga words nga ilang nabasa sa post-test. So, imong i-determine na ba'y kalahian ang tulo ka grupo. So, ma'am, unsaon man siya, ma'am. So, click again, data, data analysis, and na ako ipakitaan din rin nga. ANOVA, single factor, two factor with replication, two factor without replication. Mom, unsa ni siya, ma'am? In this case, ang atong determine is only the, in this case, ang determine ito is the reading level of the student. So, we only have one variable. So, therefore, we are going to use ANOVA, single factor. Because our one variable is the reading level of the bata. So, usara nga tong factor, but we have three groups. So, that's why we are going to use ANOVA single factor. Ma'am, kung duhara ta grupo, ma'am, tabunan na mong fuller approach, then you are going to use t-test of independent sample. Kuha? So, kung duhara ka grupo, t-test of independent sample. Pero kay tulo naman ka grupo, then we are going to use... ANOVA. So, ANOVA single factor. So, click ANOVA single factor and then OK. Yan na ay mo gawas di ha. So, atong hula to yun. Ma'am Earlene, moderately negative. Shout out na yun, no? Akong laban nga mega. Sir Romelito Pantelgan. So, huwag lang tanga. Mayroon nila. Ganun siya sa kadaghan. Okay, tara. So, input range is you are going to highlight the numbers. So, from 20 to 65. Tara. So, highlight na. You group them by columns. Kaya by columns man ang atong pag-group nila dari sa table. Label the first row. Pwede na sa gwala. So, alpha is 0.05. That means this is now your level of significance nga. Maka-reject ka sa imuhang null hypothesis. So, output range is asa ka ganahan makakita sa imuhang answers. So, click. Okay. Yay! So, what's the p-value? The p-value here is... Uh, 200... Okay, so the p-value is nasa ubos, dara. 0.02. Ang uban, 0.44 lagi, no? So, dara, ang atong p-value, sir, is this. 0.02. Question. Is it lesser than alpha? What's alpha, gani? Alpha is 0.05, or level of significance. Question. Is p-value lesser than alpha? Okay, so ato yung type. Since, okay, let's type para notes ni ninyo kay next week, sure ko, limot gud mo. Since p-value is lesser than alpha, therefore, we reject 
H O. Significant dili. Significant dili. Significant. Therefore, there is a significant difference between the three groups of students. But a question is, the limitation here is you cannot determine which approach is better than the other. Mugamit ka og to K test, no? Naan niya sa SPSS. Mao ni imo hang gamiton, pero wala niya sa data analysis tool pa. It is in the SPSS. So you are going to use. It could be I don't know the spelling. Just check the spelling. But to K test is used to determine if there is a significant difference or which approach is better than the other. So. Again, p-value, let me just um, reiterate. Alpha is 0 0.05, or p-value here is atong koloran, or yellow, 0 0.02. Alpha is 0 0.05, so it's lesser than alpha. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis significant. So, there is a significant difference between the three approaches, between the performances of the students using the three approaches. Okay, it's your turn. All right, it's your turn for activity six. Ay, sulod, wala. Ako, wala sulod. Ah, wala. Okay, mag-move na tag data. So, let's determine kung ang diet nga inyong hang gigamit kay mag-type lang ta, lima lang. No? So, let's determine if ang diet sa, on sa nga, nga procedure ang effective. So, we have diet, exercise, and um, pills. Nagamit kag pills. Nga diet pills. So, ang timbang is 45. 37, kagamay, anong timbangan, no? 50, 60, 55, 66, 67. Okay, exercise. Ano pa mo sa tayo time? It's 10.25 pa. So, exercise is, butang tag, iyang timbang, 56, 54, 78, 90, bugat-bugat na good, 67. Pills, nagamit siya diet pills, kanya mga Slim Max, no? daghan na kayo na ron sa online. 65, 54, 39, 57, and 80. Okay, money yung timbang. Okay, type chairs. Palayo ko type para sa same. Ma'am, sa una. Okay, kini lang ma'am. Ah, uh, dara. Unsa nga una ma'am? Wala yung sunod. Diet ma'am. Ah, okay, dara ma'am. Diet, 45. Type lang ha. 45, 37, 30, 60, 66, 67. Yeah. Exercise, 56, you, 54. Welcome ma'am. 78, 90, 67. 65 for peels, 65. I'm sorry, wala na save siguro. No? Sa kanuka na. 54. 39, 57, and 80. So, I want you to determine if there is a significant difference between the weights of the female teachers doing different procedures para magpadaot. Na inag diet, na inag exercise lang. Ma'am Luzel, Ma'am Jessica, huwag update. All right, so atong it check. So go to data in the toolbar, data analysis, double click. ANOVA single factor because single means we only have one variable and that is the weight, no? the weight of the teachers, the female teachers. Okay. And highlight the data. Click okay. So the p value is point 32709. So, may nanalo na. At ang nanalo ay si Miss Jessica Pungase. Yeah, Miss, please type your numbers sa chat box. 
para maluda na tika og 200 pesos. Pero red mobile ra ni siya ha? Dili ni smart sa og law. Ika ni pangitag sim sa red mobile miss. <laughs> <laughs> so, P-value is 0.32. Yes, Ma'am Michelle. We reach, uh, Ma'am Jessica, we failed to reject the null hypothesis. So, therefore, wala ray kalahian sa ilang timbang nga nigamit sila og different diet procedure uh, or padaot nga mga procedure. Are we learning? Are we emptying our cup? Nara ko'y na, na input? I want to hear um, Nara, Nara Cheers. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Dili na ko magdugay. And I'll give you a five-minute break for the next session with, with Engineer Dang. Gantuan ko. So thank you so much. And God bless us all. Keep safe. And do your research now. Samtang wala pa yung mga bata. Because the moment na mo na ta sa field, maglisod na ta o himo sa atong papel sa kadaghang modules nga atong chikan. God bless everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. So I'll give you a five-minute break before we proceed to the next session. You're welcome, ma'am. No, so I hope that you are also doing well. And this is now the new normal. So, maon agit ni, malit nagit daog internet connection at the same time. Maybe cell phone, high-end laptop. So God bless everyone. Thank you so much. All right, so you still have three minutes for your break. So at 10.35, Engineer Dang will start her session about qualitative data analysis. So please hold on. This is our last topic. Yeah, for this day and tomorrow, um, Sir Chai and Ma Margie will give their um, reminders. Okay, so for now, still have three minutes for the break before Engineer Dang will start her session. Oh, 
Ini nak buat sesuatu. Tengoklah pengalaman di kaki. Asal dah 